and here comes again a summing point now at the receiver this is at the receiver side at the receiver side and this is at the transmitter side okay this modulation is at the transmitter side okay and now i am discussing about the receiver side again one more carrier signal but from the channel we are giving modulated signal as the input modulated signal as the input and after that we will apply non linear device non linear device after non linear device we will apply to a low pass filter after non linear device we will be applying to a low pass filter and we will get the message signal back at the demodulation we will get the message signal back m of t or m cap of t it is not 100% similar so i am putting m cap of t okay cap means maximum 90 to 95% similar waveform will be the output or we can also draw the diagram as we will give s of t and then we will give a carrier and here for the operating point of diode we are taking a dc voltage and a non linear device means a diode okay and then low pass filter means low pass filter means capacitor is the element across which output is taken across capacitor output will be taken and here the output will be original message signal back m cap of t m cap of t r and c i am putting in parallel this is the diode and diode is non linear device non linear device vdc is for the operating point of diode for proper operation of the diode so either form the square law demodulator can be taken and here what happens v if we take v1 as the input for non linear device v1 is nothing but s of t plus c of t s of t plus c of t after operation and uh, if we see the spectrum if we see the spectrum the modulated signal spectrum will be two triangles right side and left side with respect to fc with respect to fc plus fc minus fc two triangles are there this is the spectrum of s of f modulated signal and after the entire process the original message spectrum will be the output this is m of f original message message spectrum will be the output okay single triangle will come out this is the operation of square law demodulator there are lot of equations which we can derive so we know the uh, equation for s of t it is ac 1 plus ka m of t and then cos 2 pi fct plus c of t means ac cos 2 pi fct this is v1 so at the non linear device output of non linear device if i take v not okay so v not will be this is v1 v not will be a v1 plus b v1 square we have to substitute simplify and higher order terms band pass filter uh, sorry low pass filter will allow only lower frequencies low pass filter will allow only lower frequencies so you can see okay you can see lower frequencies these are the lower frequencies lower frequencies allowed because negative side we will not consider for calculation so positive side only i am putting flower bracket and these are the frequencies which are allowed by low pass filter all other frequencies are rejected okay like that in the equation also higher frequencies will be rejected by the low pass filter and we will get back m of t as the output of low pass filter so this is how the square law demodulator works now you can see the next method is envelope detector after square law demodulation it is envelope detector okay so envelope detector will be envelope detector other name is linear diode detector envelope detector other name is linear diode detector and this is also used at the receiver side this is also used at the receiver side to get back the original message signal to get back original message signal okay and now 
input we are supposed to give input and then we will have rs and after rs a non linear device diode then comes r and c r l i will take output side resistor i will take r l and output across capacitor is nothing but low pass filter operation this output is original message signal back low pass filter is output across capacitor capacitor is a low pass filter so output across capacitor we are getting the original message signal back okay now we already know if uh, m of t message signal is there am cos 2 pi fmt and we have carrier c of t ac cos 2 pi fct we know that the frequency low frequency is message signal and high frequency is carrier signal okay we already know that fm message is low frequency signal low frequency signal fm is low frequency and the carrier is high frequency signal high frequency signal high frequency is fc high frequency is fc but if you inverse this fm and fc the inequality will change inequality will change 1 by fm 1 by fc 1 by fm 1 by fc so the inequality will change okay so now what i will do in the circuit charging time constant discharging time constant in the circuit charging time constant which is rs into c and a discharging time constant discharging time constant okay charging time constant discharging discharging is rl into c rl into c the meaning is if we have a sine wave like this if we have a sine wave like this the circuit charging and discharging will take place in the circuit charging and discharging will take place when the circuit switches on this is the charging it will reach the maximum it will discharge because capacitor is there again charging will take place again it will discharge again it will charge okay like that so for charging it is rs into c charging time how much time is required for charging and this is discharging of the capacitor in the circuit discharging time of the capacitor in circuit it is taking a longer time you can see compared to charging discharging is taking a longer time okay so charging time is very very less okay discharging time is very very high and this discharging time will be between will be between 1 by fc and 1 by fm and the charging time is very less charging time is very less okay so i i know that 1 by fm is a higher value from the previous line i discussed from the previous line i discussed so i know that 1 by fm is a higher value so i have put that 1 by fm here okay and 1 by fc here and uh, this is very very less charging time is very very less discharging time is very high discharging time is very high okay so this is about the charging and discharging in capacitor of an envelope detector envelope detector is a demodulation method envelope detector is a demodulation method okay this is very very important charging time discharging time okay rs into c is the charging time constant rl into c is the discharging time constant okay so here advantages of envelope detector advantages of envelope detector it is less complex circuit circuit is simple circuit is simple or less complex second one it is non synchronous method non synchronous method okay and we have the three methods in demodulation one is square law demodulation envelope demodulation and a synchronous detector 
but first two methods are non synchronous method first two methods are non synchronous methods which means the same carrier is not to be used at the transmitter and receiver at the transmitter receiver same carrier is not to be used both in square law demodulation as well as envelope demodulation but in the third method synchronous detector at the transmitter at the receiver same type of carrier should be used okay so these are the advantages in envelope detector next class i will slightly discuss the disadvantages in envelope detector then what is the necessity for uh, synchronous demodulation the third method and we will continue